What is going on YouTube? Best believe this is a settings video and it is for Modern Warfare 3. Currently, as you can see, we're on Modern Warfare 2. However, the settings do change over from Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3. So I'm going to show you on my profile every single settings I've got, color settings, to gameplay settings as you can copy and paste yourself. So if we go straight into the settings menu, I'm going to go over everything. We're going to start with a controller. If we go into controller, aim and input device, as you can see, it's controller. Uh, I don't have anything like that, but bumper ping off, stick layout preset default, controller vibration off, horizontal stick sensitivity 6, vertical 6, ADS sensitivity 0.85, sensitivity multiplier. Now, if you want to go ahead and copy them, they're all at 1. Uh, vertical aim axis, all at standard. And then I've got aims out, down, sight, behavior, hold, uh, melee, hold, off, hold, ADS, melee, and then priorita prioritize, interact. Now, actually, because we're playing Modern Warfare 3 and we're playing multiplayer, we want to go ahead and hit prioritize, reload. If you're playing Warzone and you want to change it to interact, but if you're not playing Warzone, you want to put that as reload. Armor plate behavior, apply all. And we go over to the advanced. We've got target aim assist on. Aim assist type. I still use black ops. A lot of people have gone to default. Black ops still works all right for me. We've got assist, dynamic, uh, aim responsive curve. Then we got ADS sense multiplayer one, ADS sensitivity transition time and instant custom sensitivity per zoom. I've got it off, so everything would have been at one. I've got my input dead zones. I've got mine at five five. Obviously, you want to get as low as possible. I've got quite a lot of stick drift, so that's why I have it like this. Uh, and then uh, I. That one's at six. It should be at five. Left stick max. Uh, left trigger. Obviously, bring the triggers down as well. Because you want it to be as responsive as possible. Controller orientation up. No clue what the hell that does. Sprint tactical sprint behavior. I've got it on toggle now. Um, auto move forward. Tactical sprint behavior. When Modern Warfare 3 obviously is fully out, you want to go ahead and have uh, your sprint on. Tactical sprint on. With a single tap run. Automatic ground mantle off. Automatic air bomb mantle off. Uh, ground mantle off, invert slide behavior. I've got it inverted so you can dive over the slide, but obviously being on Modern Warfare 3, you want to have it as standard, not inverted, so you can slide, because obviously you can slide cancel again. Jeez, let's go. Right, and then we want to plunge in water, plunge freely, parachute auto deploy off, so you can get down a little bit low when it comes to war zone. You want to be able to get as close to that floor as possible before you pull your chute, otherwise you're going to be long up in the sky and you're going to get killed. There's no point in having that. Sprinting door bash on, uh, ledge hang mantle behavior, mantle only, ADS stick swap, off, backpack alternate control, off, uh, and then I've got weapon mount movement on exit, uh, on, weapon mount exit delay short, depleted ammo weapon switch off, quick C4 detonation off, uh, vehicle camera recenter off, camera initial position, free look, ping wheel delay moderate, double tap danger, ping delay moderate, wheel menu behavior, uh, hold. Then we go down, I haven't got keyboard and mouse, we go down to graphics, so here we've got on-demand on texture stream, and I've got it on, uh, you could obviously have that off, but that's completely up to you, uh, but I like it on, so obviously it gives you a little bit, I think it makes the game look a little bit better, might, might be completely wrong, it gives it a little bit more colour, it says they're providing more colour detail on services, maybe that's why my game looks so much crisper, world motion blur off, weapon motion blur off, film grain 25, or point twenty five. Field uh, de depth of field off, Fidelity cast on, Fidelity cast strength 90, field of view, I've got mine at 105 because I've been playing a bit of multiplayer. If you're playing Warzone, maybe you want to turn that right up to 120. Uh, then I've got third person field of view at 90. I don't even think third person's ever going to come back, but we got it. Uh, first person camera movement, at least 50%. Third, per third person camera movement at default 100. Third person ADS, third person ADS. Default spectator camera, helmet camera. Uh, we want that to actually be game perspective. Brightness, right, let me go into these. So my brightness is set at 50, 50, 50. You literally want it so you can't see the left Call of Duty. Uh, I can seem to have this up quite a lot before I can see the left Call of Duty. I want it to be not visible. So there you see it's completely visible, but there it's not. Maybe it's completely different on your monitor, but for me, that's, I actually need my brightness up. So I've gone ahead and done that. Safe area, make it so it fits your screen. Eco mode, minimal. Sorry, guys. <laughs> if that offends you. Audio, headphones, master volume 70. I'm going to turn that all the way back up. I had it down low. I don't know why, but yeah, put it back up to 100. Voice chat on, game voice channel, all lobby. On, on, speakers. Uh, open mic sensitivity 75. Microphone level at 60 with mute yourself off. Test microphone off. Subtitles all off. Subtitle size default. Mono audio off. Reduce tonight as sound on. Juggernaut music off. Hit marker sound effects none. 
If I go down to interface, I've got menu text size default, tax uh, chat default, tax chat background zero, tax chat message duration short. I've got it basically all off because I don't want to see people typing rude things as my game's loading up. You know what they do when you're in a plane. That's why I do that language selection English. Right, color customization. This is huge. These are my color settings, and this is what makes the game look so good. Put your color filter on two. Put your color filter target on both. World color intensity at 100. Interface color intensity at 50. HUD color palette custom, and these are the color palettes I use, as you can see. And then my squad member colors. Subtitles all off. Subtitle size default. Uh, subtitle background opacity zero. Minimap shape square. If you go square, you actually get more minimap than the other one. As you can see, you can see so much more square. That's why I go square. Especially now that you're going to see red dots on the screen. This is a massive must. Uh, then I've got minimap rotation on. Horizontal compass on. Crosshairs off. Hit marker visuals on. Damage base hit markers on. Player names full name. Uh, In-game text chat off. Vehicle HUD prompts fade after five seconds. Center dot on. Center dot scale larger. Uh, the reason I've got that is so you can actually see it a little bit more easier to get uh, hits. You could put it on largest, but I, I think largest perfect. Server latency on. Packet loss on. That's something I just like to do so I can see whether I'm lagging or not. Clock off. Connection meter off. Uh, gameplay tips on. That can go off. Tool tips off. Inverted flash on. That's so your screen goes dark rather than white. So you're not actually there like, whoa, that hurt my eyes. It's a bit better having it that way. And then that is everything. Anyway, guys, that's my full settings. That's the settings you, you should use for Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Like, follow, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.